this is the mxq pro this is the cheapest android tv box that you can find online right now so today i'm gonna review it and i'm gonna tell you guys six reasons why you should not buy this product so before i get unboxing i just want to tell you guys that i had used this product for a week and had returned it so i'm gonna explain to you guys why i returned it and this whole review is based on my experience and my opinions about it so yeah let's get unboxing Alright guys, so this part, the unboxing part was filmed when I first got the product. So I bought this product from Amazon. So let's tear up the package. And this is how the box looks like. So there isn't much written on the box. You have some details about the CPU written below. You have TV boxes, 4K written on all the sides. And on the bottom you have some details about the features. So that's pretty much it. From the box itself, you guys could tell how cheap it is. Now let's see what's inside the box alright guys so the first thing that I noticed while unboxing was the Android TV box the MXQ Pro was placed upside down as you guys can see it is placed upside down I don't know if someone had taken it it just ruins its standard so this here's a quick look now let's see what else is there inside the box so let me just figure out how to open this there you go Alright guys, so you get an HDMI cable, which is a good thing, especially considering the price point, you still get an HDMI cable. And you have a large power adapter. Now you get, of course you get the remote, so this is how it looks like. And finally, you have your useless user manual. Alright guys, so now let us discuss about the 6 reasons why you should not get this product. So the first reason is booting up issue. So guys, believe it or not, this thing takes 58 seconds just to boot up, which is super super long. I am not talking about the first boot up. Every single boot up takes very long. Right now the video that you guys are watching is fast forwarded, so it may only feel like 27 seconds, but actually it takes super long, way more than 50. So about the user interface, this is something that I really hate and this is my personal opinion about it. The user interface is completely boxy, completely old school. I mean, look, what, what the hell is that Iron Man doing there in your home screen? It is way too ugly, guys. You don't want this kind of user interface. Guys, forget the user interface. This thing is super slow. I'm not talking about the boot up. Overall, this thing is super slow. I mean, if you open an app too, it completely hangs completely lags it may be sometimes it even crashes i even have to turn off the tv and turn it back on just to get back to my home screen so if you are that kind of person who really considers smoothness this thing is not for you just stay away from this product not smooth at all i mean they say they have one gb on the box but i don't think they even have one gb because one gb is slow but this thing is way too slow a nigga so youtube is the top one main problem of this device so let me just show you guys so i have connected to a wi-fi right now it is connected and it has internet access if it didn't it, it should show no internet access so there is internet access and i'm connected to my phone's hotspot so here's how my story goes so i bought this product and the first two days worked perfectly fine the youtube was smooth everything worked fine but the third day the third day i just couldn't sign in my account so i was like i i just can't sign in my account i can still watch my youtube videos so i ignored it but what happened on the fourth day was really horrible i can't even open the i mean i can open youtube but it it just didn't show me the home page I'm, I'm not getting i can't watch any videos i'm not getting into the home page of the youtube so i was like i mean the main reason that I bought this is for watching YouTube and I only watched YouTube for two days. I couldn't for the rest of my life. I could not watch YouTube in the MXQ Pro. So this thing is, uh, I mean, completely useless for me. So right now it is still buffering. So let me just show you guys that my internet is still connected. So let's go to settings, Wi-Fi. And as you guys can see, Honor 7C, so that's my phone and it is connected so if there is no internet access it should show that no internet access near to where uh, connected was written so 
it do have internet access but still i just couldn't get to the home page of youtube it keeps on buffering i tried everything guys i tried resetting i tried for stopping nothing worked i mean guys not only me some people are experiencing my same problem so let me just show you guys what message it shows after waiting for five minutes so as you guys can see this is what the message uh, YouTube shows me after waiting for five to six minutes can connect right now so I already shown you guys that I already connected my phone and there is internet access but still it keeps on showing me this message can connect right now so if you are thinking of purchasing the MXQ Pro just for watching YouTube on a bigger screen just like me please don't go for it I've done a mistake and I don't want you guys to do it so please don't fall for this this thing is completely cheap completely fake just add um, 1000 or 500 rupees more and you will get a good uh, Android TV box for example the H96 Max it is a wonderful TV box but don't buy this so many people are purchasing Android TV boxes for watching Netflix and um, if you want to purchase uh, the MXQ Pro please don't buy this because same as YouTube Netflix is not opening so right now as you guys can see the Wi-Fi is connected let me just show you guys that the Wi-Fi is connected there is internet access but still it keeps on loading it doesn't work at all so the YouTube worked perfectly for the first few days this thing never worked at all. So casting your smartphone into a big TV screen is something that every non-smart TV user wishes to have and the MXQ Pro does deliver this feature but unfortunately it doesn't work. So right now I can't actually show you guys because I'm currently filming this video using my phone so that's why I couldn't show you guys. So what happens is in my case is that it keeps on searching forever and it's not showing my device even though my wireless display is on. Um, anyways, I tried this with many smartphones but doesn't work at all so I don't know if it's just in my case maybe other people will not be having this issue but I'm here to explain my issues. So if you guys ask me what is the worst thing about this device I would say quality guys the quality of this device is completely cheap and I know that this thing only costs around 1500 rupees but if you're buying something it should last longer the MXQ Pro is good for nothing and I highly doubt it lasts a month this thing looks cool but you will only understand the quality when you actually hold it the quality is super cheap and it is very lightweight and it's made from really really cheap plastic so please stay away from this product it only looks cool same as the case coming to the remote so the remote here is actually made from plastic and um, believe it or not 60 percentage of those buttons are completely useful and this is a remote that you find in every cheap android tv boxes so i always recommend you guys if you're buying a cheap android tv box other than the mxq pro i recommend you guys to buy uh, a new remote because this remote i highly doubt it even lasts a week so those were the six reasons why you should not buy the mxq pro so before i end this video let me tell you guys something i know this is the cheapest android tv box out there and it does attract many people but there are always another options you're paying your money for a reason so please don't waste it on cheap product like this if you guys don't have enough money wait save more money or do something about it if you're buying something it should value your money now here's my recommendation if you pay 700 rupees more you could get the h96 max which is one of the best android tv boxes and it's more more worth it trust me guys this is this is not any sponsorships um, the h96 max starts at rupees 2300 and it has minimum of 2 gb ram and of course you can upgrade it up to 4 gb so instead wait save more money and consider buying the h96 max uh, now about my case i returned the mxq pro after using it for a week and i bought the mi box and guys trust me i'm super confident to say that the mi box is the best android tv box out there and now it's been a month using the Mi Box and I haven't faced any problems at all. So if you want to spend a bit more money, close your eyes and go for the Mi Box. You, you will never ever regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching and just to let you guys know, this is my first video and because of that, I know that I need lots of improvement. So for that, I need you guys' support, especially in this initial time. If you guys are YouTubers, you know how hard it is in the starting, in the initial time of a YouTube channel. So please hit that subscribe button and consider giving me a like. It would mean the world to me and I promise that I will reply to each and every one of your comments. So feel free to comment anything regarding this product. So once again, you're watching Tech Hazard and peace out.